What's up, YouTubers? It's time for another. Wait a minute! There is something peculiar going on here. Hmm. I see. This is definitely eye opening. Anyway guys, now that we got that out of the way, it's time for another reaction video. And today guys, we're going to be reacting to... I've lost the name somehow. Oh god. We're going to be reacting to Bedrock Detectives Episode 1 by The Cryptic Paradox, Tutti Fruity and the mightier Mammon. So yeah guys, three people have come together to make this and the cryptic paradox messaged me and when yo, me, Tutti Fruity and Mammon here have come together for this new Minecraft series we put together. So, you know, it's not like I wanted you to react to this opening. It's not like Tutti Fruity wanted another laugh or anything. It's not like we want to see you make fun of a man or, or anything. Baka. After I saw that, I just turned to him and went, Stop with the Sundare impersonation, and I'll be alright with it. He stopped. We had a few laughs. And that was okay to do it. <laughs> so yeah, guys, if you recall, um, the Maya Mammon and the Cryptic Paradox both are are um, the creators of another series that I react to on my channel, known as Superhero High School. So they come together along with Tutti Fruity to create this new series. I believe um, the Mammon's not mo more involved. I believe this is mostly done with um, Tutti Fruity and Paradox. So this might be interesting actually. So yeah, let's get our headphones in and dive straight into this. This is going to be a whole lot more fun. Alright. Ooh. Ooh, I'm loving this spooky vibe. It feels like I'm watching a detective series like Castle and it's joining a, like a horror, a horror spooky this of like torchwood. <laughs> Alright. There's our characters. Oh, good. And we got a title world within and it's Bedrock Detectives. Let's see if we can solve the mystery alongside them. Episode one. Detectives. I just love that piano music. <laughs> uh, is this the police station? So it's a police detective. Welcome like back, detective. Oh god. Is that the mammal's voice? Uh, we can't read that sign. Nothing's happening. This is getting great so far. Hey, anything new? Nothing really. It's been quite a boring night. Dumb. I really wanted to beat some poor s. Charming! I get enough of that ass whooping. <laughs> These detectives are so poor they can't afford chairs. What? Thomas Franks, detective. Alright. Okay, I know there's a lot of quietness in detectives, but this is taking a bit. Hello, boys! Oh, boy. Hey, sir. I swear, <laughs> he sounds familiar. Is everything alright, detective? He's wanting to get out there, sir. We both do. We just sit here all day and do paperwork. Is this true? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. That's when I joined the force, so, I was expecting something more hush-packed and slightly more mysterious. 
careful what you wish for. I've been on the force for years, and you don't want to go through the shit I've been through. What do you mean, sir? Well, on the first day as a rookie, I was involved in a shootout between two drug lords, and it didn't end well. Oh boy, I must be wow. dangerous. Well, long story short, I got shot in the junk, and I can't piss straight. Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh. Well, detectives, if you really want out on the field, I'll come get you when something comes up. Thanks, sir. You won't regret this. Trust me. Hope not. You really hope so? Oh, we got text. 47. So nearly two days have gone. Oh, God. This must be a peaceful place to go into, even though it's dark and rainy. Detectives, get your stuff! We got something big! Ooh. What is it? We got news of a crime taking place at the Dunwell Hotels! And I've told all the other detectives to stand by and let you two take this! Can you even do that? Thanks, Sarge. We'll be, we'll be right there. Can you even do that in the real world? I don't think so. Oh, this is a lovely Can day. Can you believe this? We're, we're actually on a case. Calm down. We need to act professional here. This is our time to shine. If we do this case, and we do it proper, we'll be recognized and put on more cases. Sorry. I'm just finally going to do my first proper crime scene. We need to get to the scene first. It might just be a petty crime, but let's just hope not. It's a crime. Anything can be. The enemy could be murder, could be slaughter, could be steal the money. Act two. Well, that was one short act. So far so good, I gotta admit, they're, do they're doing quite well. I, I usually watch a bit of um, detective shows like Rosalie and Isles Castle. So, yeah. Holy sh! Doing quite well. What happened here? Hmm. Okay, I'm not. I don't relax. play Minecraft, but I'm pretty sure that's not normal. Off. We have our freedom to look around as we please. You need to relax, take a chill pill, and work with me, okay? Remember, if you see something, write it down. Do not touch it. I do remember how to detect. Jeez. What's your problem, anyway? Someone tells me he's the toucher of this duo. Just doesn't feel right. There are no bodies or signs of a struggle. So, the killer might have killed the victim like a hitman and probably took the body Oh, oh the body is still here. Mm. There is but a where? Thing. Well, that's why we're here. Wait. What's this? It's a box with a sword on it. It's a knife. Probably the murderer's tool. If that's the case, why is the knife dry? No blood at all. Hmm. Then it's the well, then. That's not the murderer's weapon. Hold on a second. If the victim died quietly and didn't put up a fight, then why is the furniture torn apart? That's one big clue. Even though it looks okay. You're right. In that case, the victim didn't die quietly, right? Point. Not necessarily. The murderer could have took out the owner and then looked through the apartment Searching for something. Mm. Do you think they found what they were looking for? I don't think so. Why? Let's think. If you were trying to quietly murder someone and steal something precious to them, wouldn't you try and clean up the evidence and make it not look so fishy? No, everyone does that though. I believe the murderer came in, had a fight with the victim, made noise, 
which would alarm the neighbours. They call the police, and that leaves the murderer with little time, so they have to rush and find what they are looking for. So they didn't have time to get what they were looking for? Maybe. One thing is troubling me though. The door was locked before we entered. So tell me this, Drew. Where did the murderer escape to? Ooh, so it could be still there. Through those doors? Or was that the entrance? Or in that little cupboard thingy? Come out with your hands up. We have you trapped, there is no escape from this. Come out calmly and slowly. What's that smell? It smells like... Victory? TNT? Oh boy. Don't shoot. Who knew TNT stank? The kingdom come? That's very true, detective. But a matchstick is so much more effective. Okay, seriously, that voice. Jesus Christ! What the just happened? To be continued in episode two. Well, that's a bit of a cliffhanger. Did he just blow himself up? What on earth just... Seriously, what on earth was that? Oh boy, for a short 10 minute video, that was pretty impressive really, but that ending, cool. Is this going to be like a monthly thing, like Superhero High School or um, whenever they can upload it? Seriously, yikes, what a way to end it with an, expo with an explosion. Then again, a lot of... Um, Detective films these days are usually nearly an hour long, so I, so I expect nothing less from like a ten minute thing. Really, they did, they did well. So, yeah, guys, honestly, I enjoy this series. I look forward to more episodes. I can't wait to um, react to them if I'm allowed to. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, links in the description to this video below. Go subscribe to Paradox, Amermon, and the and Tutti. They did amazingly well, and hopefully they'll keep this up. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna go watch some detective films now. Not that that just got me into it. So until next time, guys, this is me signing out. Ah, bye bye.